So we're checking out the all so common pump and fade. Check out this move here on PTIE, how it ran up big and how it's been fading off all day. So if you're new to this channel and you wanna learn more about day trading, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's over there somewhere. Hit that subscribe button. We're taking a look here at PTIE. Uh, this morning made a big move. PTIE made a really big move from the $4 area up there to $6.50. It got halted once, uh, made a couple trades on it, made some good money on this trade, but there was a lot more money to be made really on to the downside here. So PTIE, why this did what it did. So basically this big move here from the $4 area up there to $6.50, you can see just nothing but green, 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 green. The FOMO was kicking in. The emotions were kicking in. People wanted to be a part of this move. Everybody was buying. We get up there to the 650 area, and it's like, uh-oh, there's no more buyers. It gets halted there at the 570 area. It opens up. It explodes above $6. Comes back down. Finds that support there at 570. Goes up one more time. Hits 650, and now it's been just selling off all day long. I didn't have any shares just short here earlier. And also, I was pretty happy with making profit on the way up. I wasn't really thinking about even shorting it on the way down. A couple people in the chat room talking about how they shorted it there at the $6 area and how they've been riding this baby lower all day. So this is the five-minute chart. You can see it got really, really extended there off the 9 EMA here on the five-minute chart. This whole move right here was extended, had a lot of volume filling in, had that halt there, had people chasing it. Get this big move up there above $6, $6.50. That half dollar there at $6.50 acts as resistance it starts to pull back and comes back down here finds this six dollar area you can see the bottom of these candles there at the six dollar area the bottom of these wicks there at 590 kind of bouncing 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 not making a move and finally not going a new high of day so at that point is like uh oh this is this is probably going to be over here and we'll see what happens so once that was kind of confirmed this was not going to go higher you can see it pulled back down there to the 570 area which was that previous support there 570 it bounced one more time off 570. You got these two green candles. It gets back up there to 620, and which this was the high earlier. 620 did not make it above these candles there at 620. And at that point, it was definitely a key area to watch for a short entry. If I would have been shorting this, I'd probably been looking for this 570 area to break or even on the bottom of these candles here at the 590 area. So this 590 area was the support there right below that $6 from earlier. And we're thinking, okay, you know, that 90 EMA there, the 90 EMA breaks, we lose that support, and that's what happens. You get this big crash from the 612 area down there to 556. So right there, that was almost a 60 cent move on that one five minute candle. And you can see this start to sell off, selling off, just riding the 90 EMA lower, riding the 20 on down. So now it's down there to 493, right there, 486. So this was a beautiful short opportunity. This big move up going up, you know, it's very hard at times sometimes. Sometimes you get into it, you take profit fast, it explodes higher and higher. Looking at the stock like, okay, we're up here to 650. We're not going higher. We're having trouble. People aren't buying. They're not pushing this higher. There's a lot of shorts piling in there at the 650 area. All these shorts want to pile in here at the 620s. If we do start to go lower, this could be a really good short. And you can see how this worked out there. You know, shorting there at the $6 area, shorting at 620 resistance. We get this break through the $6 area, go short there. Break through the 9 EMA, right down there. We get down to 550, and then moving lower, moving lower, all the way down there to five dollars. Now 485. So, on the way up, you know, locking in 30, 40, 50 cents on the way up, kind of getting in here, getting in here right for the halt, making some profit there, locking that in. But I think I would have felt a lot better shorting this on the way down because I'm thinking we just had a huge move here. We jumped up two dollars in about 30 minutes. So there's going to be profit taken. There's going to be people selling this. It's going to be a good chance is it's gonna start crashing down. So this whole move right here is nothing but emotions, just emotional traders jumping in there, trying to buy the move here. Obviously, I was one of them, because I was buying it, so I was looking for that move higher as well, but I was looking for more about the, you know, break over the whole dollar here at the $5 area, and then right out of this halt, jumping in there once that starts to turn and get that move up to the $6 area. So everybody who was buying here at the above $6, they're going to be selling. They're going to be taking profit. There's going to be a lot of selling here if this can't get higher. And that's exactly what happened. Didn't get above 650. So there it goes, lower and lower. So things to look for. If you miss out on the move here, if you miss out on this big move on the way up, or if you don't lock in enough profit, you see it like, okay, it doesn't look as safe. It doesn't look that good. And you don't lock the profit in there. You can make profit on the way down. So you could have easily shorted this, the $6 area, 620 area, shorted there once this did not make new highs. 
and then rode it on down there to the 480 area. So beautiful move here on PTIE on the way up, on the way down. I was happy with the profit that I made on the way up. I might have shorted there at the 620 area. It wasn't showing there, so I was done for the day. I went and did other things. I went to lunch, but PTIE, beautiful move here on the way down. Really, you know, getting in there at 620, riding this on down there. You know, getting in there at 620, riding this down to the $5 area. You're up $1.20 right there alone. Then it's down there to 480 now. So you're now up almost $1.50 per share if you would have shorted here at the 620 area. And really just a beautiful short. Really easy because you can see this thing just went lower and lower. Never made new highs. A couple times popping up there to the 9 to the 20 EMA. This keeps on going lower. Uh, a couple of little bounces here as it went down. You know, shorts covering, causing a little bit of buying activity there but really just nothing but selling on the way down here ptie big move up and steady move down